Welcome back to Subaru. Today we'll be changing out our intake system for an aftermarket one. Let's get started. Let's do our favorite thing. Pop the hood. We're going to be installing the K&N air intake filter, the Cobb short ram intake, and then the Grim Speed post MAF tube. All right, let's start by taking off the stock air intake box and then the post MAF tube. Looks like we'll have to take this off, this off. We'll have to disconnect the MAF. Then there's one bolt down there and one bolt right there. That doesn't look too bad. All right, let's take out the air intake box first. We'll need a 12 millimeter socket and a few extensions and let's take out those two bolts. Next. All right, with those two bolts out of the way, let's just disconnect this map and move these hoses and we should be able to remove the box. All right, let's take a screwdriver and disconnect the two clamps that are holding the post map hose onto the intake. All right, with all that disconnected, we should be able to remove the intake box. <laughs> All right, maybe you won't struggle that bad. Let's put in the new intake. Let's start by putting on the Grim Speed Post MAF hose on first. All right, let's go ahead and throw on the cob intake. All right, let's put on the last piece, the intake filter. All right, everything seems to be into place, so let's just tighten it all up and plug the mass sensor back in. Done, and this is what it looks like installed. All right, let's see what the new intake sounds like. Whoosh, whoosh noises. It only takes four brands to make an intake system for this car. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next install. Bye.